While I was working on a video about Dorothy from Valhalla, the concept of character depth came up. And as such, I decided to do a bit of research to educate myself before I continued to write about it. And in doing so, I found a lot of articles, videos and guides on the topic of character depth, but I came away feeling like a lot of people don't really have a definition for character depth. Which I felt was very odd for a word that appears to be thrown around a great deal. You see it in every second character study or video essay on YouTube, and you see it ranted about on Twitter and Reddit in abundancy. And it also doesn't help that I often see people interchange the words character depth with character complexity, as if they are one and the same, when I had assumed up until now that they were different. So with that I had to assume one of three things. The first of those is that there really aren't any good definitions of character depth out there, because almost everyone fits into one of two categories which is either that they have no clue about what character depth is, or they are so confident on what character depth is that there's no point even discussing it, and I was one of the few somewhere in between, not completely confident on its meaning. The second is that I'm one of the only people who doesn't know what it means. Maybe its name is so self-explanatory that nobody has to bother defining it, and I'm just some pitiful minority attempting to grasp a very, very basic concept. Then again, there are a lot of self-explanatory concepts that still have a consistent definition in the Urban Dictionary, so I doubt it could be this one. Or I don't know, maybe I'm just being optimistic. But anyway, the third and final possibility I had assumed was that almost nobody actually knows what character depth means. We all just think we do. And discuss the concept pretending that everyone has the same idea on what we mean. Which kind of scares me but at the same time could also make a decent amount of sense. It would explain the lack of conversations or definitions about what character depth is, and it would also explain why so many discussions about fictional characters end up turning into weird, incoherent disagreements. So with that, I decided to do a little experiment, admittedly with a very small sample size of four people, the only four that responded to me. The experiment was just a simple question, or I guess two questions, anyway. It was, how would you define character depth and character complexity, followed by, do you consider those two things to be the same or different? So let's start with Emil's response, simply because it's the easiest to comprehend. While I mostly use depth to explain a character with interesting motives and reasons for being what they are, while character complexity would be more like a character with hard to understand motives, but I guess they're really the same? Alright, so let's try sum this up a bit. Emil states that character depth is mostly used to describe a character with interesting motives, and that character complexity is how hard those motives are to understand. If I try to condense his response even further for simplicity and comparison's sake, it ends up as depth is how much there is to a character, complexity is how hard that character's depth is to understand. When put like this, his response bears an interesting resemblance to the differences between complexity and depth in game design, something I often see the two interchanged when they shouldn't be. But unlike character depth and character complexity, depth and complexity in game design actually has a nearly universally agreed upon definition for both of them by professionals in the field. To put it simply, depth is how many potentially meaningful decisions an interaction has, whereas complexity is how hard and burdensome it is to utilise that depth. And so far, Emil's opinion on character depth and character complexity seems fine especially when compared to the game design definitions of the corresponding terms. Alright, let's move on to Saber's response. I'd probably consider them more or less the same. I'd define character depth slash complexity as the amount of nuance in what a character is, what they're interested in, what their personality traits are, relationships with others and stuff, and the amount of detail as to how it all came to be. So first of all, Saber's definition states that complexity and depth are the same, whereas Emil explained what he thought the difference between the two was. So again, to make comparison easier, I'll condense his statement down to this. Depth and complexity are the same, and they are the amount of nuance and detail in a character's traits, relationships, and personal other stuff. You could argue this perspective to be true as well, with the idea that the complexity of a character is its depth. The more intricate and minor details there are to a character, the more there is to draw from when they are to interact with the world. Neither side is the same, yet both could be feasibly correct when considering them individually. If we also consider Skello's response, which is split over three different segments where it changes slightly each time, going from character depth being a character's backstory and motivations, and complexity being how they act and react towards things, 
basically meaning that complexity is what they do and depth is why they do it, to then adding to his argument to say that depth and complexity can be intertwined, which is somewhat similar to Emeralds, but it's still noticeably different. And then we have the last response, which states that depth is a character's personality and complexity is a character's morals and actions. For an idea that's so widely talked about, why don't we have a definition we can agree upon? Alright, let's take a step back. Going back to my original question, I think that based on the radical differences between these four definitions, we can probably assume that possibility 3 was correct. I even searched up a few other definitions online from people who were giving guides about creating characters, and even those differed. So if I'm going to try and figure out a definition for character depth, it's probably best that instead of comparing the inconsistencies between everyone's definitions, I should try and find the similarities between them, and then build up a definition from there. The most obvious one is that all definitions suggest that character depth is somehow related to how much there is to a character, and I think most people can agree on that. A shallow character has nothing beyond what is at face value, whereas a deep and or complex character has more to be explored through a narrative. Okay. So, are there any other similarities between all four definitions? Well, not explicitly, but I'll get to that in a second. Beyond what I mentioned before, they all kind of just go off in their own directions. And while the definition before is hard to disagree with entirely, it implies that all details that make up a character are worth value. Which leads into the other similarity. They all in some way talk about character depth as being meaningful details, each in their own way. While which details differ from person to person, they all talk about things such as personality, relationships with others, and motives. Things that could be considered meaningful as opposed to a character's favourite food, colour, or socks? The former of these are things that influence a character's core behaviour towards the world in some way, rather than just being meaningless trivia that might influence one or two decisions. A decision based on something like that isn't very interesting and doesn't tell us much about a character outside of that they like a particular colour. It doesn't affect anything else about them, unlike how something akin to a flaw or a clearly defined double standard in a character's logic or morals would. And I think that's what's important here. When people discuss how deep or how complex a character is, they usually just mean how this character has aspects of them that affect their decisions and interactions with the world in an interesting and meaningful way to them. And now I realise, that's the problem with defining character depth. What makes a character deep can be broadly pushed under this definition, sure, but everyone's going to have their own perspective on what parts of a character are important. To some, the backstory of a character is what makes up a character's depth. For others, it might be their worldly beliefs, their morals, or even their political standing. And this is inevitable. No matter where these characters appear in, it's a subjective medium, and the depth of a character only means as much to the viewer as what they can take away from it. 